Welcome to another spectacular thing. Today we're looking at WSL for GUI apps. That's right. Now we can run our Linux applications, our Linux GUI applications directly in Windows. Let's take a look. Here are the instructions and you can get to the instructions at aka.ms/wslg or github.com/microsoft/wslg. The prerequisites are pretty simple. The latest build of Windows Insider Preview, which is at the time of this recording is 21364, and it's recommended that you install the Intel GPU driver for WSL. Now, I tried installing this on my machine here, but my machine said that it has a newer version of the Intel driver than what is prepared here. So we're going to try this without the Intel driver, without the beta driver. We're going to follow these instructions for a fresh install, no prior WSL installation. And they're pretty straightforward and simple. First, let's open a terminal, and I'll make it bigger so you can see. This is a fresh install of Windows, so I have nothing installed on here. So let's install WSL. And it's as simple as WSL dash dash install dash D Ubuntu. And what this is, is it'll install WSL, and the distribution that it'll install is Ubuntu. Hit enter, and it will go ahead and do its work. This will take just a few minutes. Now we need to reboot the computer. Once you reboot, it'll ask you for a new Unix username and a password and retype the password. And now you've got Ubuntu 2004 installed. Now the first thing you want to do with any distribution of Linux is make sure that it's updated. So we'll just run through apt update and apt upgrade. Okay, I'm going to switch back to Windows Terminal, and I'll zoom in so we can see this. Now, the first thing I want to do is I want to show our list of, of WSLs. So you see I've got Ubuntu stopped, and it's in version 2. If this is version 1 for whatever reason, you need to up, update it from version 1 to version 2. And we want to reboot WSL. So we'll do a shutdown, then we'll launch it. And this takes just a couple seconds. Let me zoom in so that you can see. Let's install GIMP. This is a fairly large program. If you're not familiar with GIMP, it's basically Photoshop, uh, only open source. Now that it's installed, let's go ahead and run it by just typing GIMP. And here it is, the GNU Image Manipulation Program. And you can do everything that you can do ordinarily with GIMP right here on Windows. Pretty cool, huh? So that's it for the new update for WSLG on Windows 10. Please drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.